but there are other sounds, sounds not widely heard or recorded. Incoherent mumbling, growling, and chattering gibberish. In 1972, Al Berry, a journalist out of Redding, California, was invited to a hunting camp deep within the Sierra Mountains of Northern California to investigate the primate-like vocalizations. The men who frequented the camp described ongoing interactions with strange, human-like creatures. There was two of them across the creek at the big rocks. Ron Moorhead was one of the hunters in camp who witnessed the sounds firsthand. Our vocalizations from this primate was made in the 70s. We recorded them at our hunting camp, a very remote area in the Sierras of California. Unfortunately, a lot of uh, hunters and people who have these uh, reports uh, don't carry a tape report around with them. <laughs> We've had a lot of people say they hear the sounds that we have, and uh, that's good, but it doesn't give us any corroborating evidence somewhere else. While recordings like the Sierra sounds are rare, these sounds are eerily similar to the sounds described to me by an eyewitness in Wisconsin. I heard how they, how they talk, you know, that, like that, that way. In. From Texas A&M, a specialist in natural sounds. These uh, sounds from California are some of the most interesting sounds I've ever had a chance to look at here in the laboratory. They don't match up with any naturally occurring animal in the United States. They were said to be recorded in the 1970s. Then it would require an extensive knowledge of both bioacoustics and acoustic engineering to create sounds like this. Uh, they are nothing like I've heard before. They do have a formant structure that has to do with the vocal tract of the animal. It is very reminiscent of the formant structure that I see in large male humans. That does not mean that it came from a human, but it would be difficult to rule that out without some video or film coupled with the sounds. The sounds by themselves just cannot be conclusive uh, in a case like this.